Isn't that cool? This thing's only $300. I let the chlorine get too high, but it's not too, too bad. It just might make you a little dry. This is not a paid advertisement. However, I feel like I have to share this information with all of you. Stand by. Yes. I'm out the back. Yes. All right, bye. Okay. Anyway, I feel like I have to share this information with you about this spa. Yes, it is a spa that is under $500. It was probably like $498 actually. Uh, QVC has a special that even ran like 398 for this spa. This is the Saluda Spa Hawaii. This is their best brand, in my opinion. I think it's their top of the line brand, but this one doesn't have the jets. That's the only thing. However, there's this 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 thing is incredible. Um, I I'm gonna give you a quick review on it right now. Right now, I'm holding the filter in my hand. Basically, this comes apart. All you have to do is rinse this filter once a week, whatever. Black stuff comes right off it. It lasts for a really long time. You really are not gonna have to replace it. And spa also has a disbursement. Whoops, I'm dropping the filter. Whoops. It also has a disbursement unit for the bromine tablets that you could use. However, you could also use chlorine, but we recommend using bromine because it's better for spas, better for your skin. It goes right there in that section. And you could set this to disperse a lot or a little. I have the pH up, pH down, and brominating tablets that go with this, and it keeps everything really in check. This spa has bubbles, heater that goes up to 104, and it sustains this entire time. It is energy sa saving. It only uses a 120 plug with a GFCI switch that cuts off. It's got a padded bottom, so when you're sitting in it, it's actually soft and very comfortable. And it literally is huge. It can hold comfortably, I would say definitely, like if I could be honest, four people. I would say three people comfortably. It says it can hold six, but I would say three. It's perfect if you have arthritis, if you have different kind of complications that bar you from, you know, give you a lot of pain, things like that. And like I said, this is the filter that just, I almost broke. And all you have to do is hose this out once a week and it comes completely clean. Keeps the water at this beautiful, beautiful blue. Now, as you can see, the, what you're really, really gonna need is your test strips, brominating tablets, some pH up, and maybe some alkaline up. It's up to you. Um, right now, the strips are reading. My chemicals are a little. Chlorine's just slightly on the high. It's really closer to ideal right now. The pH is a little low, so I will add a little pH up to it just to make it nice, and that's just to really protect the equipment and things like that. Um, and honestly, it's, it's literally like it fills up in... 10 minutes it filled to that line. I'm not even kidding. And it took two days to heat from 45 degrees. It was pouring rain. It was freezing cold when I set this up. I've already been in this in freezing cold. My audio got a little cut out here, but this is actually the first model that actually could operate in below 32 degree weather. So it actually can operate in like literally freezing conditions. It will work. That's what they say. We're gonna test it. Um, so one other thing that's really cool is check this out. <sighs> Now this, you could sit on this hot tub when it's completely empty and it will it will hold your weight. This is made out of, the thing I could describe it is, and it, it has literal layers of insulation and what do you call, um, structure. This is made out of basketball-like material. This feels like a basketball. It's solid, you can't even squeeze it. So literally if you're cutting the grass and it shot a rock at it, it's not gonna blow a hole in it. Um, it will hold water even in the event of an emergency. If there is a, some sort of deflation, it will still hold the water and give you time to actually evacuate that water. And the drain plugs right there. It requires no tools. Everything is plug and play. This filter system literally just hooks right together and you screw it in. That's it. That's your controls. And that's it for right now for a little bubbles. First, we'll turn the filter back on. Oh, it's locked. Temperature dropped to 102 because we're off. All right, so the filter goes back on. And then we just hit this button. This is the heater. 104. But you could switch it to 102. Now we, you could switch it to anything, actually. Now we hit the bubbles.
Isn't that cool? This thing's only $300. <laughs> I let the chlorine get too high, but it's not too, too bad. It just might make you a little dry. No, it's safe. It's, it's ideal. It's still ideal. You just climb in, but you could get a step stool. Look at how beautiful that is. This is the spa after it's been closed up. It comes with a beautiful little cover and insulator that actually fills up with air as well. And it's heavy duty. Straps on all, all four corners. And they are the three prong straps, so that way it is safe. No, no little small hands could get a hold of it. And it is a relatively safe and compact little spa. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go over one final overview of everything you're gonna need to maintain your spa. Brominating tablets or chlorine tablets, pH up, pH down. You may need a little shock, but I haven't needed it yet. I just increased the brominating tablets and disbursement level on the bromine disperser. Realistically, that's it. Clean the filter once a week and you are good to go. Enjoy your spa and leave me a comment and a like if you enjoyed.